guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys some of my current favorites that I've been really loving the past few months. And so we're starting out with some clothing. Now not everything on the rack is a current favorite but I thought that they looked better hung so I hung them for you guys. So we're going to start out with stripes. I love stripes. I wear stripes all the time but in particular I'm really loving just these nice loose button up um, shirts. I find that this shirt is just um, a shirt I can layer with in the winter time. I do wear a cami underneath it in the winter but I also can wear it on its own in the summertime, tie it. I love wearing it with like high waisted um, pants and just tying it at the waist. So yes, I'm loving this. Going along with this striped shirt, I love to wear just like a plain cardigans. I love the cardigan I'm currently wearing, which is this nice olive green. It's a three-fourth sleeve cardigan, which on me is kind of in between three-fourth sleeve and full sleeve because I have short arms. And this one it has some wool in it, so it does keep me warm, which is also a plus. I have another cardigan here. This cardigan is just a gray cardigan. It's from Mongo, which is one of my favorite stores in Croatia. And this one is nice because on me it's still long, but it's not too long. I have a couple cardigans that are really long, and they're great, but I just find that, especially with when I'm not wearing like a dress and that kind of thing, I like to wear a cardigan that's slightly shorter. So this one's just nice, it's loose, but still has some shape to it. Next, we're moving on to a couple sweaters. So this is a sweater that is also like a tunic, so it's longer. And I love the color blocking on it. I find that it's very flattering. And it also is warm, but it's thin. It's not super thick, which I think is good, especially in Croatia, because a lot of times when you have really thick sweaters, they're harder to wear because it's not, it's not super cold all the time. So this is one that I can wear more often, and I love a nice cowl neck, just it's nice and cozy, or a turtleneck. Just loving those. Next is this sweater. Again, it's a striped sweater. This one is nice. It's also a little bit big, but it's not too big. I am I have a very short torso and I'm short as well. <laughs> so I tend to be, a lot of things are big on me, like even, even the cardigan, it's a little bit big, but pairing it with like skinny jeans or something that's a little bit more fit on the bottom works out well. We're going to go into some dresses now. So for me, one of my favorites is this dress, and this one... It's just beautiful. I love the embroidery on it and it's also fitted enough but not like super form fitting and it's got this nice mesh and it's it's a nice mess. It, ma, the, 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 the. <laughs> and it's nice. It's not like a scratchy mesh and on the bottom which is hard to show. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's got this really pretty embroidery as well. And this one is from Zara, which I love Zara as well. This dress, I, dress, this dress I actually wore to um, a ballet that I went and saw. The next outfit is striped. Now it isn't a dress, but it is a pantsuit. Now I was unsure when I bought this. Um, exactly what I would wear, like how it would look. So I tried it on in store and everything and I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna shorten the top because like I said, I've got a short torso. So for me, this top is a little bit long for with the pants, but it's really nice. It's got these flowy sleeves and then I will pull this out. This is, so this is the back of the top so it's got a nice little like cutout and it's got the like band across it. 
And then these, these are the pants, which are nice and just flowy and fun. And this, these are from Mongo. I haven't worn these yet, but these are definitely a favorite of mine. They are something I am for sure going to be wearing a lot of. Next is another dress. This dress is a recent purchase. By recent, I mean in the last couple months. So this dress is from Urban Outfitters and it buttons all the way up. I don't have it, I have partially unbuttoned, but you get the gist. And this one I've worn quite a few times. I wear it right now layered, I wear a cardigan over it, or I wear like a bodysuit underneath it just to make it a little bit warmer. But what I really love is it has a little slit, but like open front slit, as in it doesn't button, it only buttons down to about your knee, and then it's open. And it's open from there. It's just nice and very feminine. And it's very flattering. It accentuates your waist, which is always good. Next is another floral dress, and I love florals. This one is from Zara. And this one you can wear open like this if you want, or you can wear it closed and it just buttons all the way down. It's got a collar. What's nice about this one is it does have three fourth sleeves, so it's a bit warmer than some of my other dresses. And this one is just fun. I like the pattern. I find it's feminine and it's also very classic. My last favorite on this rack, I've had since last summer. If you watched my Virginia vlog, you would have seen me wearing it. And it's this beautiful green floral dress. And this is from a boutique. The brand is Staccato, but I don't, at the store I bought it in wasn't named that. I don't remember the name of the boutique. But this one's just so lovely. Again, very flattering. I love the fl uh, fluttery sleeves. And I really do like the v-neck as well. So it's just nice and long and flowy. I can't wait until it's really warm where I can wear these without layers. My last clothing favorite is actually what I'm currently wearing, which are these pants. And I will show you guys. My, I've taken off my sweater so you can see them better, but they have this really cute, like, ruffle detail. And they're just this gingham print, which I love. And they're very, very, very flattering. So I'm really enjoying these pants immensely. So I just have a couple things for skincare. And I'm going to start out with my goat's milk face cream. And this is the night cream. I actually had this in, I can't remember, I believe it was a haul that I did back in the fall. And this is just, it smells so good. And it's this really nice, just like thick night cream. And it's from the brand Zaya, I think. It's Z-I-A-J-A. -A. I believe that's a J. It's a little bit hard to read the font, but I love this cream. It's just great. Another cream I've been loving at the moment, and I'm really, really, like, every time I put it on, it's just like, oh. I just feel so refreshing and just relaxing. I don't even know how cream can be relaxing, but it is this eye cream and it's an almond eye cream by uh, Sensi... Sensi Vital? Sensi Vital? I think is how you say it. Sensi Vital? Yeah. I believe it's Sensi Vital because it's from Croatia. This is a really nice eye cream. It's very light, but it's just this like, I can't even describe it. It's just so wonderful. And every time I put it on, I'm just, I'm so glad that it's time to put it on. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> just wonderful. The last cream that I am putting in my favorites that is like, I use it every night. I love the smell of it and it's just so wonderful. 
is the Aromatherapy um, Sleep uh, Hand Cream by um, Bath & Body Works. This is from the States, so those of you that are subscribed to me that live outside the U.S. can't get this. I actually got this for Christmas. It was sent to me by my mom, but it's wonderful. It's lavender and cedar wood, and I think I'm just going to use a little bit right now because... You know, I'm just going with it. Just going with it. Oh, it just smells so good. Mmm, yum. My next favorite is not a skincare item. It's actually for my hair. And that is this It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. And I've been using this for six years now. And I love it. I put it in my hair after I wash my hair every single time. I never miss it. And I feel like it's it really improves the quality of my hair, especially as I use heat on my hair or um, I've dyed my hair. My hair obviously is not originally blonde. Um, and I've done a lot of damage to it in the past. And so this has been a lifesaver, not just for when I've had damage, but also just to keep and like prevent the hair from getting more damage. It's got, so it repairs dry damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents splits and split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, and it's also a thermal protector, so before you use heat. And I am just loving this. I don't know if I've ever put it in a favorite, but like, I seriously, I've used it for six years religiously, like, it is a favorite. I left my last favorites to be makeup. My favorite lipstick right now, it's the Ultra Satin Lip, and it's by ColourPop, and it is also, I love Sa Sarah the second or Sarah, I? I'm not sure how you say it, but it's this really nice color, and I'll see if I can get it on camera for you guys, and it's in the color 951. Just beautiful, loving it at the moment. My favorite eyeshadow right now is the ColourPop All I See is Magic Eyeshadow Palette. And this one, I mean, come on, look at those colors. You can't go wrong. And this was their holiday collection this past year. I've been using a lot of 1111 and Tinseltown, which are the shimmery pinks. Now my everyday makeup, I usually don't wear eyeshadow, so it's, you know, like, I tend, my 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 go-to though eyeshadow palette when I am wearing eyeshadow is that one. I also have other ones I do enjoy that I do use, but I would say that one is my favorite right now. My favorite mascara is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I have been using this probably for the last two years, and I really love this mascara. It's great, and it has a really nice um, wand to it. It is a plastic wand. I know not everybody likes those, but I personally really like it. My last favorite, which is a highlight, is the ColourPop Highlight Inflextration. It's the uh, Super Shock Cheek Highlight. Oh, it's a cream highlight, and I really just love it. It's just, it's so nice. And it, Oopsies. So there's that highlight. It's just beautiful. So those are my current favorites. And if you guys liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. I really enjoy making these videos and I hope that you enjoy them too. And so please, if you do, hit that subscribe button and we'll build a YouTube community together. Also, if you guys have any... Um, questions. If you want to know anything about me, please leave a comment down below. I will for sure make a Q&A when I get questions. At the moment, I um, haven't had any questions yet, so I would love to get to know you guys and for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So if you do have questions, make sure to leave the comment down below. I also have an Instagram that's Bethany Marie Beauty, so if you're interested in checking out maybe some pictures that I post or want to get to know me a little bit more on that social media, then just head over to Bethany Marie Beauty, and I will see you guys in my next video.